Here is Michael Malone, Nuggets head coach at the parade. Listen to this. Is Brucey B going anywhere? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hey, we run this back. We run this back. And here's coach introducing Nikola Jokic. You guys know he stat pass, right? Yeah. And you guys know he, he didn't win a third in a row MVP because the voters didn't want to vote for him. He mm. is drunk as hell. I, I, you know, I, I love this part of it, Key. Everybody keeps, well, okay. So if you're saying, if somebody were to say to me that, well, you know, Jokic, his game is bland or his personality is bland, I'm like, well, then Michael Malone is giving you all the spice that you need, please. He, he's giving you everything, and he has been giving you everything. Whether that's going at Kendrick Perkins for stat padding, whether somebody wants to say, oh, you know, it's the voters. I mean, he, he is carrying receipts like nobody else in the NBA right now. All day, and it's still going. I agree. He went at Braun yesterday, too. He'll, he'll do the talking for the team, right? It'll be on him. Here is Jokic. Congratulations, man. They won. <laughs> Here's Jokic. Yeah. Talk. Remember, we originally said, oh, the parade's on Thursday. Yeah, the guys want to go home. Well, here's what he had to say during the parade. You know that I, I told that uh, I don't want to stay on parade, but I f***ing want to stay on parade. This is the best. <laughs> about when foreign players dropped the F word. Man, they were getting I lit, boy. I need it. <laughs> I need that. To, you're supposed to be faded and have fun with yeah, it, though. Yeah, of course. Ain't no, of course. There's no question about it. I don't Because it would be boring if you if you didn't do it, right? Everybody celebrating. I mean, that's what you... You just won the NBA title. You're supposed to feel the way that they feel. No question about it. Do, I mean, do you like that version of Jokic better, Key? Is, is that Does that give you the pop for Jokic? Saying yeah, stuff it's, like it's, that? It's, it's cool. There's nothing. Okay. There's nothing. Yeah. Remember I told you I started liking him when he <laughs> went at your boy from the uh, Phoenix Suns and he pushed him off and then he gave the ball to, what's, what's his name? Uh, the, the owner, the new owner. Matt Ashibia. Matt, Matt Ashibia. When he walked over there late the next game and gave him the ball, I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's a little personality there. Mm -hmm. Of course. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying his personality is bland. And he doesn't say anything. I don't care about that. I'm talking about on the court. It just don't look like, like I want it to look like a Zion. I want it to be like, ah, boom. That's, that. you know, like KG used to be bang on somebody. I don't want everyone to be the here. same way, though, Keith. No, I just, I want... I'm saying I like it that way. Doesn't mean you like it. No, no, I'm I understand. Saying, no, I do, yeah. too. Like, my favorite is Ja, right? But, but I like living in a world where at the top level of the NBA – Guys are getting it done different ways. I don't, you know, like one of the things I don't love about this era is all the threes mean too many of the games look the same to me. You know, three, 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 three. I got it, I get it, I get it. You're trying to set up the three. Um, I like a league where some guys are different. Like this dude, we've never seen this before. But see, when he, when he did the spin move off of AD and dunked, yeah. See, I like that. Yeah, yeah, of course. That you know what I'm saying? I like that, but I don't like the back down, back down, back down, back down, and he's already at the rim and he just takes it in. I don't that's like, come on, man. You're supposed to do that. You're nine feet tall. Yeah, there's a reason that bigs generally don't don't <laughs> wait, connect so, with the Jay, audience the way that the back wins. down, no. The back down is Shaq will back him down, but it's one back down. It also, takes Shaq Joker like pure power. Yeah, exactly. But it takes Joker from the free throw line to back somebody down. It's like 20 damn steps. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I, I get it. Horses, That's all? not horses, but like, you know, different strokes for different folks. Are, are you guys still part of this belief? Because it kind of fits into how Denver will always feel disrespected. Do you, do you still think there's any, um, I, I, I guess, importance to the the seeds that Denver has beaten I do to win yeah I think I think that how I, so I think that the fact you know it sounds like oh don't be negative now don't make an excuse now sometimes it feels unfair to the team they have to play who was there and they destroyed everybody so they deserve enormous credit yeah, but credit. the fact of the matter is they did play the combined total of the highest seeds ever Right, no yeah, one's that, ever it, played that many. That, that's the truth. It is. It so, is what it but, is. Or but is, but is it true? But I, I said that just they said knocked that, them down. But yeah, I, yeah I, I feel like that's just set off the top rope, though. That doesn't give you any context to it, though, right? Because everybody in the world had the Lakers beating Denver. 
like, not everybody, but well, not everybody, say, but me, say, but like everybody jumped say, on that train and said, say, even though they were that we seed, the bubble. they were the better yeah, team. We right? saw it in the bubble. So like, it's yeah. funny though. It's like you know, the, the seeding thing gets into like, oh, that's the fact of the matter, and like, yeah, it is. But the Lakers after the trade deadline, like, were one of the top teams. So you add it all up, and no one ever played a higher number than them. Any team that does that, there will be they they played like, who was in front of them, but, so there will be reasons that those that those low seed teams made it to the conference finals, made it to the finals. There will be extenuating circumstances. They are good teams, or they wouldn't have made it that far. But, hold on, but the fact is, they were lower seeded teams. Yeah, but that's fine. I mean, well, first off, you're one seed, you're going to play an eight seed. I guess right, it, that's going to happen. Off. Like yep. you, you yep. can't control that's that. That's right. Then the next up, okay, like the four seed one, like fine, like that's that's what it is. But. Like, We've all sat up here and talked about if the Lakers had a full season, it might like they would not have been in that seating position. That, so that, also that, like that, that just because they have a number next to them doesn't mean they're well, actually no, that seed. I, I, I get it. Hold on one second, Keith. So I like, get it. But you're, I just, you're only taking a piece of the argument and then labeling that. Saying, no, but, well, that's the fact of the matter is that no other team. And Jay, I just that against them. I, I just addressed that. Let me do it again because obviously I didn't do it clearly enough. There will come a team probably eventually that plays even lower seeds than them somehow, right? And they they're they're total number will exceed the Nuggets in terms of the eight seed, the eight seed, the eight seed. Oh, my God. It's the... And in that circumstance, too, there will be explanations for why those lower seed teams made it to the conference finals, made it to the finals. And when you look at the details, you will see they were actually very good teams or they wouldn't have made it that far. So that is true. That That's absolutely always going to be true for anyone who winds up in that situation. But the uh, fact is, they are lower seed Do you know teams. Denver, went through, Denver went through more All-Stars, uh, the accumulation of All-Stars in all those seeds than any other team in NBA history? Do you that know that? Did not like, I, I, so, that so, so I'm just I'm going to help people put it into perspective. When you start thinking about we get into, like, seeding and numbers, the West was a mess this year. There were teams that had such like a gap that can go. There was such a small was difference wide open. from like yeah. three until like nine, ten. So like all that seating stuff, like that doesn't fit the narrative on how good Denver is. Well, I mean, but if the Clippers would have been all. as healthy as the Nuggets. <laughs> Sorry, Key, I got passionate. So which team? Which team? Do we have more confidence? Hey, can in? I say anything? Uh, Repeat it. Sorry, Key. I'm that sorry, Key. The time's up. Walks inside. Just look at his gate when he walks, and then you look at his frame. So if that's his gate, and he, he can't carry weight like usually, that, nobody's talking about that. Would you say usually the athlete not only has their feet straight out, but is slightly bow-legged, like it's a little, it's, yeah. It's, 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 I don't even know what the correct terminology is. If it's extended on the outward yeah, side, yeah, uh -huh. it's not inverted, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Like his knees are inverted. So yep. you, you look at that, and then you look at the weight he carries upper body-wise, you're like, that can't, that's not the right kind of stress balance that you would need for mm -hmm. a body. Like he would have to be a lot leaner. I said Mackie top. Shillstone, someone like he needs to go to a specialist who understands the, the the physics of it all and nutrition and all that stuff. And there is there are people like that out there, you know? All, They're expensive, all that, but it's cool. All you got to do is work out and lose weight, man. Well, that, well that's what I say. Your work, weight has work, to be lowered. Work out, lose a little weight, and he should be fine. I mean, he's a powerful player. So but, a lot of the things that he's doing has explosiveness to it. And pounding, he's probably been playing basketball since he was a little puppy, you know? And now... You, as he starts to grow, he's still pounding along the way, and it's just that's that's one of the reasons he's coming up with these injuries. So between uh, um, diet and playing basketball for so long at his style, he's gonna bound, he's bound to get. Come on, man! His shoe in. exploded, and when he was still in college, like he's also on top of that. Yeah, the but dude that has, has something to do with the shoe. But man. I'm just saying, like he's 280, but compact for the weight. And stupid explosive, like we've never even Charles Barkley, we haven't quite seen this yet. And 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 the sneaker can't take it, man. Yo, neither can his see, anatomy. You know what lie. I mean? I'm serious though. His frame but I know is just at too home much. Can't see it, but I, I, literally there is a picture here online of <coughs> Zion, and it shows literally how knock kneed he is. Like, and you can see how his knees key. So yeah, the weight aspect is is a, is a real thing. But like the knock needs of it, like think about like how inverted that is. That that can't be good for your long term health when you're when you're your game is based off your athletic explosiveness. Ability. Yeah. You're Dr. Jason Williams. I see you. Yeah. I'm just saying, okay. But I always certain it, things that are very apparent when you see people. You're like, whoa. I and, and on top of that, there's that Derrick Rose thing to me, where if you looked at, at D Rose, he, 
it, like the human body wasn't meant to twitch that fast, right? You're like, damn. And, and it just the the bone structure, whatever, ligaments, you can't take it after a while. But this dude is like a D Rose, but at 280. 80. 280. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a lot. There's a lot you- there. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.